electric mode La Ferrari. So yeah, we've seen it a million times here before. The matte white La Ferrari, matte white wheels. I'm gonna go take it for a quick drive before the end of the season because honestly we haven't had time to drive it at all this year. Pretty sick. So for anyone who doesn't know, the color is called Bianco Fuji Opaco. It's the Bianco Fuji, which is like a metallic white, but this is the matte kind of version of it. So it has like almost a yellow tint to it, but exact paint to match from Ferrari wheels. And yeah, very sick. Obviously the hybrid V12. The one thing about love Ferrari doors is you got to push the handle. There's not really a click that tells you that it's open. You got to pull up really, really hard because it's actually one of the heavier doors. I've ever felt on a car. So the one thing that everybody talks about in these La Ferraris is that the seats themselves don't move, it's actually the pedals. So what happens is you pull this right here and the pedals actually go backwards and forwards. And you push it with your foot, however far back you wanna go. Yeah, pretty sick interior. So the left Ferrari tire pressure needs to get recalibrated. So I'm just taking it just for a quick drive. So it gets to reset. I think it needs to drive for a few minutes for it to actually recalibrate. Oh my God, it says it's not doing it. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm gonna keep driving it and figure it out a little bit. Yeah, pretty nice car to drive. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this TBMS thing. Honestly, the one thing about Ferraris that I really don't like is I know everything is on the like kind of uh, cluster which makes the car look cleaner and doesn't age as much but it's so hard to use everything so I don't know if I'm just an idiot and I keep trying to recopy it I'm not doing it right but I don't know these are so like weird and complicated to use it's I don't know. So just doing a quick Yorkville loop and there is an SF90. It's funny, this car doesn't get a lot of attention because honestly it kind of, it's cool, it's very fast, but it looks almost like your regular, you know, F8. It does look pretty similar to an F8, I think, um, but it's significantly faster than La Ferrari, for example. So it's crazy that it's, you know, somewhat a low-key car, but, you know, you can drive it, not have too much attention, and just have crazy performance. Hey guys, so last night something happened in Toronto that kind of got the whole car community here talking and everybody's been resharing this uh, on social media and I've even seen people in other parts of the world resharing this, which is really nice to see the support. But last night there was a Ferrari F12 TDF out in downtown Toronto for dinner and when the owner, I guess, left the restaurant, he got followed by someone, I think it was an F80 BMW M3, but I'm, I don't think that's 100% confirmed yet. And at some point during his drive home, he actually got carjacked by this person that's been kind of stalking him outside of the restaurant, followed him home. Well, he didn't make it too far and they carjacked him for a Ferrari F12 TDF. Now, you know, obviously we've been hearing a lot about this in Toronto with, you know, Range Rovers, G-Wagons, kind of your, your cars that are very replaceable, your cars that just, I guess, can get exported, shipped, and, you know, it's all for, you know, these, obviously they're thieves, like, but, it makes sense not that it makes sense when to steal it but you know those cars can disappear very easily and the people that own them honestly will get them replaced in two seconds but when you steal a car like an f12 tdf one for the owner of the car that bought this car brand new spec'd it from the factory this is something more special than just the money value of it this is a car that he built and he was waiting for and he like truly loved and you just stole that from him and I don't really think you have too much of a monetary value to a car like that because, for example, this F12 TDF is a Rosso Dino car. That's a very, very rare color on F12 TDF. I don't think there's maybe more than three or four of them in the world in that color. So you steal that car and what are you gonna do with it? You can't make that car disappear. Anywhere that car is gonna show up, everybody's gonna know which car it is, where it came from. And at the same time, you put the person in danger. So they stole it, I guess, a gunpoint or knife point or something. You put the person in danger stole a car that really you can't really do anything with so thefts like this have been getting more and more common especially here in toronto uh, my other friend had his gt3 rs stolen a 997 not even a new one from his garage overnight which means it was targeted 
and you know these these car thieves these criminals are actually targeting specific cars i don't think the tdf to be honest from last night was targeted uh because how would you know where the car is going to be and where like i think it was just a coincidence that a car thief saw a ferrari i have a feeling they didn't even know what ferrari was they just saw a ferrari they thought it's something they can still get away with not knowing that it's you know a very very special very limited production car that can easily just be found if you if it gets seen anywhere um but it's just it's crazy that these these are taking cars that they probably can't do much with i don't know if they're taking it for a joyride or if they're taking it to sell to ship what they're doing with it but you're putting actual people in danger you're making the car community not be as enjoyable people are scared to take out cars now you want to like everybody's got to be careful where they're going with the cars like they got to keep looking to see if anybody's following them and you're just making it less possible to enjoy these cars that to people are, mean a lot more than just the money aspect it's it's cars that do mean a lot to people the gt3 rs that got stolen it's a 997 so it's a 2011 and my friend that owned it got the car brand new this car that meant the world to him and again what are you going to do with it it's a blue gt3 rs 997 you can't really make those cars disappear very easily it's a lot easier to steal something like a g-wagon or an x5 rather than steal a car like this that actually also means something to someone so now last night this happened it kind of you know everybody started talking and everybody started sharing their stories of almost getting carjacked uh people they know get carjacked and it just people are trying to see how often this is happening and it gets to a point where you know i don't even get nervous about driving my car anymore but now i'm really watching behind me and i'm kind of telling everybody that i know that has nice cars when you go home when you leave somewhere if you see somebody following you if you see a car that you haven't seen before just maybe loop around a little bit don't go straight home because a lot of times when you go home is when they rob you when you go in your garage just go in there and get the keys from you you got to always be aware of your surroundings going to make sure you know what's going on because right now especially in toronto i don't know about the rest of the world but it's too risky sometimes to drive these cars you just got to make sure you're always not being followed you got to make sure you have your privacy people don't really know where you're going just don't give too much information about what you're doing which cars are with and where you're going i think it's and it's just sad that it has to come to this so yeah, honestly, I don't have much of a solution for this problem, but it just kind of sucks that this is the situation we got to in the city. I suggest, you know, I don't want to say don't drive your nice cars anymore. So whoever is driving a nice car, just make sure when you go home, watch behind you when you're driving anywhere. Always keep an eye out. Make sure nobody's coming out of any cars behind you. Nobody's following you. Just, it sucks that we have to be a lot more careful, but I think that's kind of the situation right now. It's... You know, hopefully next season this is all going to kind of be over and we can go back to enjoying our cars worry free.